Governments. It's the National Industry Super Fund for Health and Community Services and is a very proud supporter and has been a very proud supporter of the National Nursing Forum since its inception. So please join me in welcoming Anthony. Thank you for having me. It's wonderful to have the opportunity um, and privilege of joining you all at this important forum, the 2022 ACN National Nursing Forum. I want to acknowledge the incredible work, obviously, of CEO Kylie Ward and her team for bringing together such a wonderful event in these challenging times, and obviously for their strong advocacy uh, to shaping health and advancing nursing and some of the issues that have been outlined today, they're quite raw, uh, to enhance not only the nursing uh, fraternity profession, but the health care of all Australians. I want to start by acknowledging the Larrakee people are the traditional owners of the land we, we, which we meet today. I pay my respects to their elders, past, present and any future emerging leaders. And I extend that to any Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander people here today. Hester is truly honoured to be the principal partner of this year's forum. We value our partnership with the Australian College of Nursing and the opportunity to engage with you and strengthen our position as the premier super fund for nurses across the country. As I begin, I obviously want to acknowledge the challenging work that our members do, which are obviously a lot of uh, nursing and healthcare professionals, and pay tribute to the compassion and leadership they've showed as they cared for and protected Australians during the pandemic and in the post-COVID economic recovery as well. So what is it about HESTA? So who we are? Next slide. HESTA now has more than 930,000 members nationally over 80% of whom are women or female. We manage more than 68 billion of their retirement sa savings. Our mission is simple, to make a real difference to the financial future of every one of our members. At Hester, we believe our members' best interests and our ability to deliver strong financial returns are better served by supporting a healthy, inclusive economy, environment, and society now and in the long term. Like ACN, we share a strong belief in an inclusive and equitable Australia, one that truly has the needs of our most vulnerable at heart that cannot be forgotten. And that the health of our economy and society can be judged to how we step up to help those at risk for not being left behind. Our connection obviously to the college is important and our gratitude and admiration for the work that all of you do on your members' behalf uh, and members never changes and the advocacy that, that uh, Kylie and the team provide to the whole of the nursing fr fraternity in the nation. So this year, I wanted to go on to talk about what's called the Hester Australian Nursing Midwifery Awards. We hosted our 16th annual awards, which recognises nurses, midwives, nurse educators, researchers and personal care workers for their amazing work providing exceptional care across Australia. And just for, for a footnote for someone from the Territory, uh, we've had a winner from, and a finalist, from the Northern Territory, and the winner was Sarah Brown from Purple House. So the handmark categories include Nurse of the Year, Midwife of the Year, and Outstanding Organisation. Um, across each of those categories, they each received 10,000 to support their future shaping work. Now, just to let you all know as well, yearly, the nominations open around about early November and nominations close around late February. They can get extended. And finalists are announced probably about four or five weeks after that. And obviously, winners are announced uh, during the Nurses and Midwives Week, which is, I think, in early to mid-May. I don't have the exact dates, but look out for that. Go onto our website hester.com.au forward slash awards or just Google Hester Awards and we'll take you to that area to nominate. And now I'll share our 2022 Nursing Award winner, Sue Hegarty, accepting the incredible, incredible award and achievement. So let's all congratulate and I'll highlight uh, Sue Hegarty for her exceptional advocacy and support for women with ovarian cancer. And can we continue that for, for all the finalists in all the categories? Uh, and the people that nominated them. So well done to that. We thank you from Hester. So her story is of a 26, key, 26 key year career dedicated to cancer nursing. She has worked tirelessly to support women with ovarian cancer and their families. She has been instrumental in the development of programs offered through Ovarian Cancer Australia OCA, attracting millions of dollars in funding. 
This includes spearheading the development of Australia's first ovarian cancer telehealth program, which provides access to specialist nurses for women with the disease. Sue has collaborated with the University of Sydney to identify research priorities for ovarian cancer and establish a psycho-oncology research program at OCA. She was also responsible for convening the first symposium on ovarian cancer at the International Psycho-Oncology World Conference in 2018. Obviously, nominations are, are opening later in the year, and I've talked about that. It's Esther's privilege to recognise, reward, but also share the stories of exceptional professionals in the health and community services sector. So finally, I hope you get so much out of the forum. It's great to connect with you face to face again after so long in that virtual world. Um, Karen's been marvellous at getting us up to, to speed um, uh, with emceeing, etc. Um, so I had to be nice to you just in case you wave the one minute warning. You're getting a bit scared. And um, we value the partnership with the college uh, uh, over the journey. We have our, I have my colleagues uh, Linda and Bronte at our booth. We'd love to talk to you. It's been a bumper start to the conference, so let's keep it going, or the forum. Bye-bye. Thank you.